Welcome. My name is Peter Best and I'm here at the second European Perspective and I have with me one of the speakers at this meeting and he is Dr. P. H. Ratkin who is the Senior Global Technical Manager on PRRS at Beringer Ingelheim Animal Health. And of course he's a specialist in the control of PRRS in pig herds globally. Dr. Ratkin, welcome. And at this meeting, you've described an aim, which is to achieve immunity across all stages of production. Why is this so important? So the, the aim of pest control is to uh, prevent infection, to maximize immunity and minimize the exposure. And what uh, we mean about that is that we want basically the pest virus to have nowhere to go. So it's, it likes to go into naive animals and replicate, and that's what we want to prevent with our tools. We know that the naive animals, they, they re replicate more virus, they shed it for a longer time, and by having immunity across the whole herd, we're able to reduce the amount of virus that are replicated and also shed to other animals. This is an aim. Are we close to achieving this aim? Not at all. Not at all. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Why? Mainly because uh, we, we fail to immunize a large part of the herd. Failing because of cost or because of other reasons in your view? I think we, uh, we very often we, we focus on the sows. Yes. And, but we are forgetting about the growing piglets. So um, we want to have all the animals uh, immunized. We quite good in vaccinating sows or immunizing sows, but uh, growing piglets, they are by far the highest number, so at least 10 times as many as sows, just yes. by numbers. Yes. And on top of that, they are the, the young animals who is replicating more virus, they have a longer duration of aremia, yes. and just by that they shed more virus than sows. Yes. So if we fail to protect them and give them immunity, we actually increase the number of virus or uh, the amount of virus that are shed yeah. uh, between farms. Would you mind if we just did a definition of sows and piglets for the purpose of this interview, please? Yeah. When you're talking sows, are you talking only m uh, mother sows or also, uh, let's say, replacement gilts coming into the herd or... At uh, 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 what stage do you uh, have yeah, that definition, or what is a piglet? That's, that's a very good question, because that's another part that is extremely important to protect. That's, uh, that's our guilt source. So, so the guilts, they are the most direct source of virus to a farm. So that's basically young animals with have the ability to replicate a lot of virus, and we bring them directly in to the sows later on. So if we fail to immunize them and reduce the amount of virus they are able to replicate, we actually bring the virus directly back into our sow. And that's, that's uh, one of extremely important thing to acclimatize gilts. So vaccinate them, immunize them, uh, keep them apart for a long enough time to make sure that they're not uh, shedding virus when they go back to the sow herd. Should I, if I'm sourcing these gilts from another supplier, from another herd, should I require them to be vaccinating those gilts before if I you, take them? If you uh, buy them at a quite old age, yes. so ready to go into your herd, yeah, for sure, then you should uh, have them vaccinated and uh, acclimatized before you bring them in. But my recommendation would be that you buy them in a younger age, you vaccinate them yes. and make sure they're acclimatized before you All get right. them in. Perhaps we can talk in a minute about acclimatizing because I'd like, please, to talk about piglets. You did mention yeah. that, and let's define those first, and then perhaps you would explain to me why it's so important. You said about the, uh, the challenge that they present. But first of all, what is a piglet? When are we vaccinating? At what stage should we be looking at their protection? So you could say that the piglets are more or less protected as long as they're with the sow. So they don't shed a lot of virus uh, as, as before they're weaned. But as soon as they're weaned, uh, they start infecting each other. And they increase the amount of virus. 
So we want them uh, to be immunized before they're weaned, or at least when they're weaned. So when they meet the field virus at a later stage, that's very often at the late stage of the nursery or beginning of, of uh, finishing, they start to replicate a huge amount of virus. And we can reduce that amount by immunizing them just around weaning. So that's what we want. Weaning age is important in this? The weaning age is not that important. It's, it's, uh, it's more uh, due to the, the fact that they are weaned. Hmm. Um, they are in a quite um, comfortable environment before they're weaned, but all of a sudden you have mixing of hundreds and picks, and you have it, it, they, if they have different stages, you have, maybe you have some uh, that are shedding virus and others that are naive, and they start to, to shed and, and replicate a lot of virus. But as you say, herds are not routinely uh, protecting their piglets so much as they are their sows at this moment. No, if we look at it uh, in general, we, uh, so there's a very high rate of protection or vaccination of sows, but, but in piglets, we, uh, we're maybe talking about uh, 10 to 20 percent. It's increasing. There's a, a, a growing understanding of uh, that you have to protect your piglets, but there's a still a long way. So if we look at the numbers of animals that are unprotected and actually able to replicate virus, we are still uh, might much higher numbers in, in grow finishing pigs. But there's good evidence from the field that this piglet protection is working in practice. It yes. is helping those people yeah. who do it. And you saw that uh, at the, the Congress today, that uh, there's good evidence that we can reduce the amount of virus uh, by vaccination. Yes, yes indeed. And very quickly, if we may, I'm sorry because of time, acclimatization, please. Would you just explain a little bit more when you talk about acclimatization of gilts? What is it you have in your mind when you do that? So what I have in my mind is that we, we want, the first of all, the gilts to be immunized. So we don't want them to replicate virus when they go into the sow herd and feed it back. We need to give them a decent time. Uh, to vaccinate them and also to clean the virus up before they go in. Very often uh, it's thought that you only need to do that if you purchase gilts and bring them in, so uh, that they would, that's the, you could say, the, the largest danger or the biggest danger to your sow herd. But actually what we very often see in the field is, is when you're using your own gilts and you take them directly from the nursery or from the finishing and put it into a sow herd, and then forget to acclimatize them and vaccinate them. They're actually a bigger danger. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Rapkin. Thank you. Thank you for joining us here at the European Perspective. Goodbye.